Hey everyone, welcome back. This is my first time trying a second video in the same week, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, I figure might as well give myself something to do while stuck at home, and might as well give everyone else a little bit of extra content to watch. So, pox update. Well, you know how it's going. I'm now spending some of my spare time driving around collecting donated filter masks for use in hospitals. An idea which was just utterly unthinkable a week ago. So, that's where things are now. But, to the project. We have the final whistle pipe almost done, except there's no way to attach the airline on one end. I could do what we did before and weld on a adapter with a thread. The problem with that, though, is that when the valve is threaded on, it's just going to end up in wherever it happens to seat in with the thread. And for mounting purposes, I'm going to want to be able to set that angle. Presumably it's something like this, maybe something like that, we'll see. So my idea is, I am going to take this chunk of steel, turn down a little shoulder on it so it just snugs inside, and then we can put some more set screws on the whistle pipe, cut a thread and a nozzle on this, and we should be good to go. I think it'll look pretty good. And it's mostly lathe work and then just some more set screws. So let's get at it.
that's pretty good I think looks nice so just need to put a set screw in here I had been thinking set screws plural nice three hole pattern but I was thinking I would use a collet block for that because collet blocks are really cool and I like using them unfortunately the uh, one inch collet like I could I can get down to the pipe down to about here but uh, in de any deeper in there and it won't slide down and I would need to get down to about here to make that work so that's out and similarly the uh, the indexing head the pipe would be sticking way too far out there so that's not worth dealing with so for now I'll just do one we'll see how that goes I've uh, screwed in this screw into the existing set screw hole so I can use that device to figure out which way's up and have the match so let's do that here it is in the mill if you sight down it that looks pretty vertical but then to be sure I can bring just a drill bit in in the quill and looks good to me So there it is all assembled, complete with quick disconnect fitting. I don't know if this is the first slide whistle in the world to have one, but it makes me happy. Ah, that's great. Again, I have hearing protection on and it's a little bit uh, weedier this time. I'm not sure why, possibly because when I had the previous temporary blower on, the aperture is back here, so maybe the air had more time to expand before hitting the baffle. Um, maybe we're getting a lot of turbulence up in there. I might try filing down one side of the baffle to channel up air more smoothly in there. Not sure if that would help or not. It's kind of bugging me, though. So I'm going to think about that and then also think about how to mount this, because at the moment it has to be held in the vise to play it, um, such as it will ever be played. So I need to think about what kind of mounting I want. But uh, there you go. Second video for the week and stay safe, everyone.